Hey guys, it's Lori. I just wanted to share with you today my new vacuum cleaner. I know, exciting, right? <laughs> well, I wanted to share it with you guys because of the reason that I purchased it. I'm getting a notification. <laughs> okay, the reason I purchased it was because I had my carpal tunnel surgery and yeah, I have some calamine lotion because I got some into something, I think it's poison CMAC. Ugh, yeah, anyways, try to ignore the calamine lotion, but you can still see the scar from my uh, carpal tunnel surgery that I had, I don't know, it's been several weeks ago now. But after I had that surgery, I went back to work after only two weeks. I clean houses for a living, so that was a little bit too soon. Um, I enjoyed my time off, I really did. Like, I would like it if I didn't have to work at all. I would be able to handle that pretty well. But um, I just felt like I needed to get back to work. So I went back to work after two weeks. It was a little too soon. I realized it pretty soon after I went back to work that I probably should have given it a couple more weeks at least. But that being said, it's been taking a while for my wrist to actually feel 100% again. It's been achy. My arms get kind of painful sometimes just because my wrists aren't up to par yet. Neither one of them because this one got overused trying not to use it when I had my surgery at first. So this one's trying to get better too. Uh, one thing that I realized was that while I was working, I use a rainbow sweeper and that's a big canister and the attachments, one for the floor, another attachment for the hard floors. You gotta lug all this stuff around and it's got, I don't remember how long the hose is, but I think it's the 12 foot hose that I have. And so when you're pulling it, you're pulling it with that big long hose and it's like, and I'm carrying it like some of, some of the houses that I clean have the basement, the main floor and the upstairs. So it's like all the steps and carrying and doing the farmer's walk thing, you know, with all my equipment and trying to carry as much as I can so I don't have to make 10,000 trips. But anyways, that sweeper was just really heavy. I love my rainbow, don't get me wrong. I love my rainbow, but I needed something lighter weight that I didn't have to do so much with. So that I could easily carry up and down stairs and easily be pushing back and forth and not have something I have to pull, pull along behind me all the time and stuff like that. So this is, I did lots of research and this is what I chose. It's the Shark Apex, it has the zero M, I don't know, zero M thing. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's the dual clean and it is the stick vacuum. They have another one that's a dual clean professional maybe that it is a lot more durable <laughs> Winston's playing with his toy Winston <laughs> come on man <laughs> anyways um, yeah the other one has a bigger canister for the for all the stuff that you sweep up it's it attaches to the front where this one this is the hand part that attaches to the stick which I'm gonna show you that in a minute but um, yeah, this uh, dust cup right here, it's got two little things right here that you pinch and it comes right off. Super easy. Then it opens with a real quick push of that button right there. No big deal. Um, it's a little dusty right now. Oh, it's actually not too bad. I keep it pretty clean because I clean it every time I... <laughs> well, actually, certain houses I have to clean it four or five times during the during the sweeping part but anyways yeah closes right back up whoops super easy pops right back on it's so simple I sound like a sweeper salesman I realize that but I swear to god I'm not I'm not affiliated with this company whatsoever I just really like it and I wanted to share it with you guys and tell you why I ended up getting a new sweeper this might just be temporary I may go back to my rainbow but for now this is what I'm gonna use this, um, one thing I didn't show you is see how lightweight it is. I mean, it's just so lightweight, but it's got this little thing on the front right here. This is where this hangs. Let me, let me get myself, uh, in the right direction here, but it hangs right there off of that, just like that. So yeah, and it is top heavy when it's on here. So it, it took me a few times using it to realize I can't just stop and walk away to go pick up something. 
I have to actually take this off or lay it down or it's gonna fall over. But I mean, that's not a big deal. It's so, it's just too easy to take it off. But yeah, and the cord, the cord is so long. I love that because I hate when I'm sweeping and I have to unplug and then go plug in somewhere else, find an outlet. Okay, finish this room. I only had two feet to go. You know what I'm saying? This thing reaches a long way. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you the clips of the vacuum in use. But first, there is one more thing that I wanted to show you guys. This part right here, let me, let me push this back. <clears throat> but this part right here, this is the uh, zero M. I don't know what that stands for, but, but let me stand up and show you guys. This comes off like super easy. You just have to click these buttons back. It's gonna be kind of hard to do at this angle, but you just push these buttons back and it pops off. You see this, these teeth right here? Those teeth right there are a big deal because if you see this brush, it doesn't have any hair or strings or anything wrapped around it. Look at that. It's kind of hard to turn without having it turned on, but it has nothing wrapped around it because these teeth clean off everything that gets wrapped around that brush, everything. And this orange thing right here, it's a soft felt, and that is what you, what you use for um, hard floors. Then if you turn it on the second notch, this thing spins for the carpets. And this is right here, what I'm talking about. Turn it on one time and only the orange thing spins. Two times, the brush spins. Pretty awesome. Okay, let me go ahead and get to the clips of me actually using the vacuum. All right, here it is. I have it leaning up against the back of this chair right now because otherwise this top part gets too heavy and it makes it fall over. So you have to take it off, but it's super easy to do that. And I'll show you guys how easy that is. Look at the cord. I don't know if you can even tell, but that's a really long cord. It's 30 feet long. So that's one of the things I love about it. And let me show you how easy it is to take off. Hang on, right here, there's a button. You just push it and it comes right off. And then you can do like steps with this or get into a corner or something like that. It goes right back on. Down here, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, there's a little thing you step on. And if you just very gently step on that, this comes off and you can get up higher you can get your cobwebs or whatever it is you need to get, or you can get down into corners without having to bend over by just using this part. So I'm gonna show you real quick. The nice thing I like about this is it has a light, but I'm gonna to have to turn it back on, so. It has a light down on the part for when you sweep the carpet, but it also has a light on this. So I think that's awesome. I sound like a sweeper salesman, but I'm not, I swear. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna vacuum for you guys. Keep in mind, I haven't vacuumed in four days. I have to vacuum daily. This is all the hair, pet hair, and I don't know if there's crumbs on there, but yeah, this is, this is the rug that I'm gonna sweep for you guys. So there's some cat hair, yeah. It gets kind of gross if you don't sweep every day around here. So anyway, keep in mind that I have two dogs and three cats. <laughs> There's one of the culprits now. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna vacuum this stuff for you guys and show you how good it works and how easy it is. It's really lightweight.
look how much better this looks. Going over it real quick like that, it looks so much better. It works so good. I'm, I'm highly impressed with this stick vacuum. I really am. I'm gonna show you how good it works for the hard floors. This is oatmeal, you guys, oatmeal. I had to get creative because there wasn't really anything on my floors to sweep up, so yeah. Weirdly enough, I'm sprinkling oatmeal on my floors right now. I'm putting some up against this edge so that you can see how good it gets up against the edges too on the hard floor setting. Pretty sure Elmer thinks he's getting a treat. All right, now I'm doing this half on the rug and half on the floor on purpose to show you guys how awesome it is. Seriously, look at that. It works so good, you guys. Right up against the edge with that orange roller I showed you guys. It gets everything. I love it. Okay, guys, I hope you got some kind of useful information out of this video. Let me know what you think about this vacuum in the comments below. Do you have a shark? I'd like to know. If not, what kind of vacuum do you have? And is it lightweight? Because that was what really sold me on this. Lightweight, super good suction, really good reviews. So, yeah. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.